guess where we are today? It is Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. They are working on the update with Test Track right behind us. Coming soon. But we are here for part three of the Food and Wine Festival. We still have plenty of items to get, but I think we're gonna get our little uh, cheese Oh yeah, yeah. Shirt today. Two, two mac and cheeses if we each choose one. Then we'll have that page complete and we can show you our free item. But first up, I think a little shrimp cocktail. You Let's know me. go and get started. So don't yeah. forget to give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell. Because we have a lot more to show you. All right, let's go. Okay, Coastal Eats right outside of Creations. They have, look at that, warm lobster tail, $13. Looks fantastic. I'm going to go for the jumbo shrimp, shrimp cocktail. A little pricey, but yeah, we'll give that a go, $13. And, oh, wild brute. A wi wildly brute souvé. Hmm, interesting. All right, first sale. Give it a little go. See how this is. Look at this. So this actually looks fantastic. Brute souvé, they called it. So I think that's a uh, wildly brute. That'll be dry. Three giant shrimp cocktail. That looks fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and dig in. Get a ooh, little lemon on there. Give this a little try. Wow, they are giant. Okay, that's good. Not overcooked. And being how giant these are, I mean, I would say at least worth $10. 13 might be getting a little much. But yeah, that is really good. Yep, the shrimp was good. Good cocktail sauce. So we got a win for the first um, booth. Andy will let you know how the wild root is. Wildly. Wildly. Oh. All right, cheers. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Very bubbly. Okay, so this is a win. Definitely a win. A little pricey. The whole spread here is $20. But they also had one not on the board. Uh, lobster claw cocktail for $12. So... It looked like four lobster claws and then the same thing. So, yeah. All right. Very good. Look at this. Find a new Epcot Spirit jersey. I quite like that. How much is this one going for? I think it's free. It's free. 80. Oh, okay. There's a sign. There's a sign. It's a sign. 80. It's a sign, all right. Yeah, that's cool, though. Might have your they have some here. new merch here. Oh, here's a nice regular tea. Oh god, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Yes, that's quite nice. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, there he is. Oh, and even Finding Nemo. Yeah, what did you say this was? Oh, I might be wearing this hat. Ooh. All right, yeah, new stuff. The hat's new too. Yeah, I like the hat. For three quarters. Yep, Epcot long sleeve. Forty dollars. Forty. That's a nice shirt. For twenty-five, let your imagination lead the way. Mm. Little figment there. All right, well, maybe show a little merch. Oh, uh, imagination is the spice of life. $35, but I like that. And looks like we got some ears here. Wow, 45 for the ears. But how fancy does figment look here? Ah, uh, it's a little trash can. These are mints. Oh, no, I'm sorry, they're salt, uh, and, pepper. salt and pepper shakers. Mm. $15. Oh my gosh, the mug. I could take everything. All right, she may need it. $19.99. Oh my gosh, look at him. We always say we don't have time for mugs because we have a bunch, but. But look at this. It speaks. Oh, I really like that. Oh, I like this shirt too. Oh, $65, but it's very soft. Uh, not very soft. It's like 
that silky material hey, button down. Oh, goodness. Well, how about that one? Oh, there's too many items All that right. I could choose here. This might be you. Now, this is a tie-dye little thicker it's, oh. beer feel, feel, well, feel to it's it. It's going to get to be December, January yeah, here. $40? But yeah, that's cool. Oh, I like that too. I like the lounge fly, but you have several. Yeah, I'm a little lounge flight out, but... I think but if you were to add one, it might be this $89 for good old Fig Boy. <laughs> fig Boy. Uh, apron. Spatula. What's this? Is this just a napkin? Yeah, these are napkins. So $19.99 for napkins. Okay. I think I could wear that. Is this new? Yeah. Wow. Very cool. I don't know if I like the burgundy color of it, but. Well, it's kind of like my magic one. band. Yeah. That is also free. No. And if you're wondering why I'm still holding this, I'm wanting to save it. So she may be coming home with that in her purse. It's a tank top too. Yeah, that's, I like that. Oh, here's one of the mini lounge flies. It's a lug, lug? Little lug, lug bags that are yeah, very expensive at $65. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. Can you twist it and what make it dang? At? She said it's an egg timer. Oh yeah, okay, I see down there. Cool. We must not ding. Maybe they turned the dinger off so they didn't don't get annoyed. $25 for that. Uh, all kinds of cool things. A little charcuterie. Only eat the good stuff. Yeah, we agree with that. Oh, That's I like nice. This too. Which is that one? 45. 45. Uh, we did show these one of our previous visits. The little I guess it's a charcuterie board that hooks on your wine glass. And I did show the polo. The polo, wow, that's very thin. It's like a tech $50. or wicking material. I still like that polo. But we're here for something else. <laughs> we're here for the mac and cheese and to complete our stamps. Yeah, so also other than the merch, which is over there in Communicore, they have mac and cheese, which gets you a stamp. So this is our next stop. We're gonna each get a mac and cheese and fill our book. All right, here's all the choices here. Four mac and cheese options. And then you have two wine flight options. I'm gonna try this wine flight. Right, thank you, got a little wine flight action going here. And two mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, our next spread, we do have the impossible chili mac and cheese and then the truffle mac and cheese. And it got a little wine flight that's only $8, so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, oh, Mendoza, Lodi, California, we do like those. But historic, show the book. This is our first time ever getting all the stamps to get one of the prizes. There we go. So this one here, this shows that the only blank one is the one that you get your freebie when we go to Simmering Sips. The completer treat. So Woo! next stop, maybe? And it's a cold item, so I can't wait for that. And it's desserty. Yeah, next stop. <laughs> ah. A little truffle mushroom in the wine. It's a pairing wine. This is for the blooper reel, but she just reached over to show the camera. I tried to show the mushroom and it literally A little went. mushroom. I'll try it anyway. Salute. Oh yeah, it's Chardonnay anyway. Good thing it was a Chardonnay that's very dry. This does look fantastic. I really like the mac and cheese. Okay, and I really like the impossible chili. So, it's the uh, vegetarian meat based meat, but it's really good. 
Can you tell it doesn't taste like meat or? No. And my favorite for chili, if you don't have like crackers, saltine crackers in it, have Fritos. So it has Fritos. This is really good. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Can you put a little chip on here? And it's got sour cream too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's good. All right, I can eat this all day. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try Impossible Chili on its own. There it is. They have beans, cheese, sour cream. Yeah, that's really good, delish. You wanna try the mushroom? How is your truffle? The truffle is good. And then it's got the little flanco on top. I really like it. So I think I like my truffle one better than the impossible just because I'm not a big chili person. But you can't go wrong with Fritos and sour cream. <laughs> right? And cheddar. Yeah. Cheddar so I makes like, it better. Cheddar makes it better. I do like mine better, but I don't dislike that. And the funny thing, look at this mushroom. It looks like it looks like a sliver of like shaved roast beef or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't try a mushroom, but I assume they're good. Doesn't look like they give her too many. All right, Cabernet, St. Helena, California. Yeah, that's good. Okay, you know I like dry wines. May have to walk with this one. Mm. If you know, you know. Little walking wine. Yeah, that's good. I normally don't like blush or white wines, but this one's real good and it's a little drier. It's from Lodi, California. So or is are it Lodi? all of these dry? They're all dry. All right. But I think we have another good booth here. So they do have three mac and cheese. The only one that is left is the traditional. And I would assume the traditional just tastes like if you tried one of these noodles without the chili and Andy seemed to like the mac and cheese, so. Yeah, this is good. All right, well, next stop, our first ever redemption of the stamps. First ever. Yeah, I didn't really like this one, so if you could tell, blah. <laughs> no, really good, highly recommend. And Andrea, are you gonna be able to finish yours? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so we both have high remarks for the or high ratings for the mac and cheeses. Very good. Final stamp. Final stamp. Can I get a redemption? Look at our finisher prize. Holy cow. Emile's fromage montage. It's got a little cheesecake on top, a little couple frozen yogurts or ice cream. That looks fantastic. That are melting quickly in this yes. smothering heat. You better get going. And look at this. I haven't had one of these since maybe the first time. I haven't had one of these in years, but look at this. Got three mimosas, tropical berry blood orange. Forget about the mimosas. This is where it's at. Good. Oh, yes, it tastes so lovely. I just tried the ice cream, but I'll take a little. I'm going to borrow your spoon. Get a little bit of the cheesecake by itself. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Oh, that's good cheesecake. And that's good frozen yogurt or custard. Oh, yeah, or it's whatever really it good. All right, I'm trying cheesecake and the ice cream. The, the ice cream is so good. Oh, it is. It's heaven. It's like heavenly. Very, very refreshing. So huh. I definitely recommend if you don't like cheese, come with somebody that does <laughs> and get a stamp because yeah, it's worth it's it. Very good. The cheesecake too is outstanding. So not only you have outstanding cheesecake, but both the flavors here are great. That's a winner. All right. I'm gonna try the mimosas real quick. We'll do a blood orange. And they're really big pores. Blood orange is good. Cuts down a little bit on the sugar by having blood orange berry mimosa. Oh, it's got a little cranberry too. 
Yeah, I think I quite like that one. So far, that's the winner. And finally, the Tropical. It's got uh, sparkling wine, Minute Maid, passion fruit, orange, guava juice. Yeah, Tropical's good too. I think I like this the best. Then maybe Tropical. Yeah, Tropical, finally the Blood Orange. But yeah, very good. Yeah, this is melting quickly, but I gotta say the best pairing with the uh, treat, with the reward, is the Berry Mimosa. These two go together. We're pretty full, but maybe our last sale of the day, Bramblewood. They have pork tenderloin, grilled bison, but we're gonna try the veggie. Uh, roasted Brussels sprouts, root vegetables. That sounds lovely. Look at all the meat cooking here. Hey, good, how are you? Looks awesome. Wow. Our last item of the day, we have the roasted Brussels sprouts and root vegetables. I do see a pecan in there. All right, we'll let Andrea tell you how it is. I am the roasted Brussels sprouts aficionado, just like cornbread, if you know, you know. A little hard. <laughs> the Brussels sprout is almost crunchy. So yay or nay? Maybe a miss. I'm trying to try this. Oh my god. <laughs> Ten minutes later, I got through that piece. Unfortunately, I think the Brussels sprouts are a miss. I don't know if they didn't cook them enough, but it's all very hard. So, uh, yeah, so I would maybe skip the fruit vegetable. The pecans may be lovely though. That would right. be my least favorite. <laughs> living with the land and usually I'm not that big of a fan of it but they also have like almost little picnic-y looking um, like play food so you can see what the foods look like that they use so I don't know yeah that was neat I thought it was pretty cool I don't know if I've ever ridden during a festival or I never noticed before but check it out for sure for a festival to yeah. see all the different signages yeah. I'll be sure to show those they're cool that is all. We've been here three hours. It's very hot, so I think we've had enough. Yeah, so we got to try uh, three booths, and there was only one that we didn't really care for, and well, that was the root vegetable and Brussels sprouts. But everything else was really good. Yeah, real good. We still have more to try, so we'll be back, but uh, maybe we'll do a video of what our favorites of the whole festival is once we get more items tried. Yep. So we thought we could do it all in three, but it's going to take four. It's a lot more. <laughs> but thanks for coming along. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Yep. And subscribe to our channel and we'll see you the next time. Yep. Catch you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya.